channel. This is Rai, I'm Ina, and today we're going to enjoy a short and gentle restorative yoga class. So whenever you're ready, please come into a comfortable seat position of your choice, and let's get started. We're going to start by taking three slow and deep and intentional breaths. So grounding your hips into the floor, maybe wiggling a little bit from left to right, just to find a little more grounding. Shoulders back and down, lengthening through your spine. You can place your hands on your knees. Deep inhale. And exhale. Take it slower and deeper on your next. Inhale. And exhale, let it go. On your next one, I want you to hold it at the top for a couple seconds. Deep inhale. Hold. And exhale. Maybe rolling up the neck in a half circle to your left and to your right. Really enjoying the slow and intentional movements. Maybe just letting your head hang heavy at the center. You can use your hands to add some extra weight to your head. And allow to be heavy. Feel the gentle stretch in the back of your head, down the neck. Maybe even into your back. Deep inhale. Exhale, gently release, looking back up. On your next inhale, lifting your hands all the way up and above. Exhale, hands back to center. Two more just like that. Try to create space through your breath and the movement. Inhale. And exhale. Last one in your own time. Hands to heart space. Placing your right hand next to your right hip. Inhale, lifting your left hand all the way up. Lengthen at the top and then gently bend over to your right. If you're more advanced, you can always bring your hand further away or bringing your elbow onto the floor, opening up your heart space and just enjoying this heart side stretch wherever you can. Grounding your left hip into the floor. Deep inhale. Deep exhale. One more out of breath. Exhale, gently coming back up. Exchanging sides, left hand onto the left side of your body. Onto the floor. Inhale, right hand up. Lengthen and exhale, finding your variation of your side stretch. Deep inhale, grounding through your right hip, opening up your right shoulder. Exhale, maybe you can find a little more depth. Deep inhale. Deep exhale. Last inhale. Exhale, gently returning back to your center. Placing both hands on your knees, finding a couple of seated cat and cow positions. Inhale, shoulders back and down, lifting your heart space. Maybe look up. And exhale, rounding your back, holding onto your knees, looking towards your navel. 
Two more, moving with your breath. Inhale, shoulders back and down, lifting your high space. Exhale, rounding your back. Last time, inhale. And exhale. On your next inhale, finding your neutral spine. Placing your right hand behind you, your left hand on your right knee. Inhale to lengthen and exhale to twist. Pulling your navel to your spine, looking over your right shoulder. Last round of breath. On your exhale, gently returning back to your center. Same thing on the other side, left hand behind your right hand on your left knee. Inhale to lengthen and exhale to twist. Maybe you can notice a difference compared to both body sides. Which one feels more open? Which one might need more, some more love today? Deep inhale. Deep exhale. Last round of breath. Exhale, gently return back to center. Now bringing your soles of your feet together and finding either your butterfly where your heels are closer to your pelvis or your diamond shape where your heels are a little further away. You're creating a diamond shape with your legs. See what your body needs today and then grabbing onto your ankles. And maybe you want to begin to lean forward. So you can always use your elbows to press into your inner thighs. Just a gentle groin and hip opener, keeping your neck long. Maybe you want to include some intuitive movements by moving a little bit from left to right with your upper body or finding forward folds. If you are noticing any tension in your body, try to release it on your exhale. Two so more rounds of breath. If you feel like deepening your practice, go for it or just enjoying where you're at today. Noticing and appreciating the sensations in your body. Slowly coming back up. And now you have the option to choose between figure four on your back, or if your body is open and ready for it, you can come into your pigeon pose. I prefer starting with my right leg in the front, bringing your right knee in one line with your right hip, and your left leg in one line with your left hip. Flexing your right foot, I usually have some weight on my hands until I find a comfortable position. I always enjoy shifting from left to right. You can always place a block under your hips if that feels better. You can always untuck your toes if there's not a dog in the way. <laughs> you can stay upright, maybe finding space through your heart within for a moment, engaging your left glute, lifting your heart space. And on your exhale, maybe you want to find your sleeping pigeon. Coming onto your forearms, maybe. Or all the way onto the floor, spreading the hands away from you. Whatever feels better. And this is not a new class, this is more restorative. So if you feel the need to move, allow yourself to move. If you're ready for stillness, enjoy stillness. As long as you stay connected to your gentle, loving, deep and slow breaths, you're doing great. You can create a pillow with your hands and rest your forehead on it. Deep inhale. 
inhale. Deep exhale. Couple more rounds of breath here. Try to soften and relax further into this pose. Last round of breath. And your next inhale, gently coming back up, if you lean forwards, taking your time, maybe you're shifting onto the back edge of your bottom, and then just switch over to your other side. If you're in figure four, just exchanging your legs, taking your time to come into the other side. Always treating yourself with respect and patience. Making sure that your left foot is flexed now. Maybe inviting some movement from left to right. You can always untuck your toes as well. Maybe you want to engage your glutes. Lift your heart space up and lengthen for a moment. Deep inhale wherever you are. And exhale, you can find your sleeping pigeon. Relaxing your stomach, your forehead, your shoulders. Again, you're welcome to find movement. Maybe one side feels different than the other today. Just honoring that and if it needs a little gentle variation or not such deep of a depth than you did before, just enjoy it. <laughs> this class is not about the poses, it's about the sensation and the journey. Making sure that your hips are staying square to the mat and that you're not opening up your right hip too far. Keep breathing. One more. Slowly and gently coming back up. Coming back into your center and then extending your legs to the side. It doesn't have to be that far. You just want to get a gentle stretch in the groins. Keeping your hips either flexed or pointed. And then I always enjoy it to move forwards and back, finding a little more gentle opening in the hips. Maybe if you feel an open, you can come onto your forearms. Not necessary. Wiggling around until we found a comfortable variation to find stillness in or keep enjoying your macro movements. There's no right or wrong in this. <laughs> Uh, 
continuously slowing down your breath and your movement. Maybe finding a little more space if your body allows that to Never forcing anything. It's your way to rest where you are. And then slowly coming back out. Helping your feet come together, bringing them in front of you. You can either have your feet touching, or if you need a little more space, you can bring them hip width apart, or even a little further. Your knees can stay bent. Maybe pointing and flexing your feet for a moment just to wake up those hamstrings a little bit. Feels right, maybe falling forwards again. However far feels good. Deep breaths. Slowly coming back up if you chose to fold forwards. Really taking your time. And then coming onto your belly. Your legs are out behind you. Creating a pillow with your hands. And now bringing your left leg out into your half rock shape. Maybe using your hands help and deepen the pose if that feels good. <laughs> Sorry, Ryan. <laughs> Drawing a couple of deep breaths here, gently allowing your hips to open up. Last inhale. And exhale, gently releasing from your left foot back next to your right. Exchanging your hands. And then bringing your right foot out into your half rock shape. Mm -hmm. 
Maybe you need to adjust your position a little bit because your dog is laying on your mat. That's okay. <laughs> I love a little yoga, buddy. <laughs> you can always, again, grab onto your knee, wiggling your forwards a little bit to deepen the stretch. And then return to a few deep breaths here. Align yourself to soften with each exhale. Last round of breath. Deep inhale. And exhale, returning back all the way onto your belly. Now clasping your hands behind your back, bringing the palms together. Bringing your shoulders back and down, and then lifting up, opening up your heart space. If you want, you can lift your front up as well, finding a little deeper stretch. Deep inhale, deep exhale, gently release, and then bringing your toes together, pushing yourself up and back into your child's pose. Try to take a wide leg child's pose. So bringing your knees approximately to the edges of your mat, or wider, or not. <laughs> and then just resting in your child's pose for a little bit. Maybe shifting from left to right. Or finding stillness. You can always walk your hands a little further to the top of your mat. Create more space in your upper body. You can come on one cheek or the other. Try to relax into your pose. Finding the other cheek. Keep breathing. Last round of breath. Gently coming back up into a seated position. Maybe coming into a quick toe seat where you're tucking your toes. And you just sink your hips on them, gently tucking your hips. Or at least I like to do it, then you also get a nice stretch in the tops of your thighs.
or you're just gently sitting on your toes. And this feels really uncomfortable, but it brings you such a good release when you try to practice it every once in a while. <laughs> Very intense, but my toes do feel refreshed after that. Two more rounds of breath here. Last round, you got this. Exhale, gently release. Finding any comfortable seated position of your choice. Or if you have time, coming into your Shavasana for a little bit. Placing one hand on your belly, that one on your heart. Noticing your heart beat into your hands. In your other hand, rise and fall with your breath. Two more deep breaths here. Deep inhale, raising your hands all the way up, maybe keeping your eyes closed. Exhale, hands to your third eye, the space in between your eyebrows. Maybe applying a gentle pressure here, giving yourself a little massage by moving from left to right. Noticing the release of the tension in your forehead. Stay here. Deep inhale. Exhale, lowering your thumbs to your lips. Deep inhale. Lowering your thumbs to your heart space. If it resonates, wrapping yourself in a good, love-filled self-hug. Saying thank you. I love you. And just taking this feeling of gratitude, peace, and slowness throughout your day. Thank you so much for letting me guide you through this really slow and gentle class. I hope you enjoyed it and I wish you a wonderful rest of your day.